5 qualities that great artists had. Welcome to Ejagular Art. If you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. When I was doing my master's degree in creative and critical thinking at UMass Boston, I studied specifically artists, especially very successful master artists. And what I realized that there were some commonalities among them. And now I want to share with you what the five qualities were among these great artists. Number one, you need to be a good observer. An artist wouldn't observe the world in an ordinary way. We see things in shapes and colors and angles. It's very different for us. When you look at a tree, you can see different shades of green, but another person can say, oh, the tree is green. Or when you look at a river, you can see the sunlight reflecting, and then you say that, oh, that's beautiful. If I painted this, I would use this color, that color, or you can right away think that, oh, where's that light source is coming from? But another ordinary person would look at it and say that, oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> We study people too, we observe people too. We look at their face, you know, how their nose is shaped, when they smile, what kind of muscles are moving, where are the shades, where are the highlights. And when people are holding something, what the hand looks like, subconsciously, we're observing things actually. And that's a good sign because all the good artists were great observers. Number two is patience and perseverance. If you want to improve as an artist, you need to be patient. You need to be process oriented, not result oriented. Because when you focus on the ultimate result, then you stop enjoying the process and you become really impatient. But when you enjoy the process, when you learn from your mistakes and try different things, assess the situation right there and then and learn from it, then that's the perfect way of improving your art. Some of my clients tell me that they quit in the middle of the painting process because they already realize that the end result is not going to be what they pictured in their mind. And then I ask them, how do you know that the result will not be better than what you pictured in your mind? Yes, it will be different but what if it would be better or it would be different in a good way. Also, not only the art process, but your art career takes time to build up too. And you need perseverance and patience there. Maybe you are posting on Instagram and you're not getting the likes you want, you are not getting the follows you want. And you wonder, is my art bad and what am I doing wrong? You just need to know that you need to trust the process. And if you are good at your job, finally you will get what you're looking for but it's going to take time the third thing that is common among good artists is taking risks and being able to get out of their comfort zone we all love our comfort zone but if we are a creative person we need to get out of there in order to create what do i mean by taking risks trying out new mediums maybe painting on a bigger canvas, maybe drawing or painting something unorthodox. Some of my students find it very difficult to find their own style because what they want to do is not very trendy, right? They want to sell, they want to be liked, but at the same time, they keep doing what public or society would love, such as landscapes or portraits, but that's not what they want to work on. Maybe they want to do dark art or they want to paint nudes. And this is why they're feeling that they are limited. Another way of taking a risk or maybe getting out of your comfort zone is applying to galleries or organizing your own exhibition. And even sometimes we are scared to share our art on Instagram because we don't know what kind of reaction we're gonna get. This is also taking a risk. This is also for some people means taking a risk. Do it today. If you want to be a great artist, you need to show your art to, to the world. Because honestly, as artists, our art is the way of our own expression and our way of connecting ourselves to the world. We need the world. We need the world to see our art. The fourth thing I want to mention is flexibility. You need to be flexible if you want to improve your art. 
Let's say your painting didn't go as you liked it to go and you stop. Don't stop, continue in a different way. For example, you started drawing a portrait and it's just not going the way you want it to. You can turn it to an abstract painting or abstract drawing. Just play with it. Being playful is one of the most important thing in being a good artist. Maybe you ran out of the color that you were looking for and there's no way that you can go to the store and get that paint right away. Be resourceful, try to find other ways to replace that color. By being flexible, you stop thinking with your left brain, your analytical brain, and you start more thinking with your right brain, which like to solve problems in different ways. Think out of the box. And the fifth and the last one is curiosity. You need to be curious to be a good artist. Why? Because, hmm, what if I used this shade instead of this shade this time in my painting? Or what if I use this brand of oil paint instead of this brand? Hmm, what if I change my composition this time and instead of doing this, I'm going to do a new thing? What kind of subjects in my painting would reflect my opinion or my creativity more? What kind of painting styles or palettes that the master artists used in the past? Why do I always draw portraits? But, you know, these kind of Curiosities are helpful for you because else. the more you get curious, the more problems you solve, the more you learn from them. And all of a sudden, you realize and you know more than your other fellow artists because you are the most curious one. So you are curious, you are flexible, you don't mind taking risks, you are ready to get out of your comfort zone, you have patience and you're a good observer then nothing can stop you guys. If you want to become a great artist and you're at the beginning of your journey, I highly recommend these videos for you. I'll see you there. Bye.